guys, welcome to another video. You are watching Boost Book. My name is Chris, if you did not already know that. Today, we're gonna be getting the manual five-speed transmission that we pulled out of my 1985 Ford Mustang that we are building into a competition drift car, by the way, and preparing all of those transmission components for the brand new clutch kit and flywheel that we have coming in. So today, what we're gonna do is clean all of this messy stuff up gonna be super satisfying I'm pointing to it right now that's why I'm pointing down there but it's gonna be super satisfying to get this stuff cleaned up it's an absolute mess from that leaky rear main seal that has been leaking oil for 30 years so let's get to that enjoy the time-lapse and I'll see you all when it's complete Alright guys, we got the T5 cleaned up pretty well. Turned out pretty good, not bad at all. Just a wire wheel, some brake clean, and some elbow grease. Took care of it pretty well. Uh, it was good to get all that grime and that oil off. It'll cool better that way. I'm actually going to replace this bearing retainer now. I actually believe that this was replaced already, probably when they did that clutch uh, previously. But I have a new one. I'm going to throw that in now. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse and continue with this tranny refresh. guys the new bearing retainer is on as you saw from the footage now when the throw out bearing goes on the retainer it's going to slide nice and properly the other one had grooves in it and that affects the way the clutch depresses and compresses so we're all set to go i'm going to start cleaning up the rest of this stuff and prepping for the clutch kit that we are going to be putting on very soon let's keep going all right guys, we have the bell housing cleaned up. Also have the spacer plate cleaned up right here. Man, I tell you what, the bell housing was a pain to clean out because it was all full of the oil from the rear main seal and then all of the clutch dust was in it also. 
and it was just an absolute mess. Same thing with this uh, the spacer plate, but that cleaned up nice because it's at least a flat surface. And uh, yeah, we're we're making some progress. As you saw, we had the transmission here all cleaned up and the bearing retainer on all set to go. So she's ready to be uh, put back in. And um, yeah, the next thing we're gonna do is hop on under the car and we are going to start cleaning up the back of that engine. I also need to get a valve cover gaskets because what a waste it would be if I was to start the engine up after cleaning it and it's still leaking from the valve covers even though we did the rear main seal. Uh, that wouldn't be very smart, so we're just gonna knock everything off at once. But step one is at least cleaning it first, and it is an absolute mess. So I'm, I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse, and we are going to continue with the cleaning of the rear side of the engine. We are all finished prepping everything to put all the clutch components back in. As you saw, we have the transmission all set here, the bell housing, the spacer plate. So far, the only new parts that we installed was the pivot stud as well as a bearing retainer here. Uh, and everything's all set to go. Really excited to get this up in there. Everything came out great as well. Along with the block, you saw that really cleaned up well. I mean, that thing was dripping a ton of oil, tons of leaves everywhere, but it's all cleaned up, ready to go. We have to install those valve cover gaskets and then everything else, the clutch kit, flywheel, and everything else that goes along with it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it and want to see more. There's going to be plenty more. This car is going to turn into something special, and I'm excited to take you guys along on the ride. All right, guys. See you in the next video.